So if you see the IUPAC name of the seven, sorry, spironolactone. Here the seven acetyl sulfonyl, seventeen hydroxy, three oxo, pregnin, twenty one carboxylic acid lactone. See here, one, two, three, four, four cycle cycles are there. So this four structures name is pregnin. So this name it is named as the pregnin. And if you see here in the third position oxygen group is there. And in the fourth position, double bond is there. So it is named as the three oxo pregnin four in. And in seventh position, acetyl sulfonyl group is there. And in seventeenth position, hydroxy group. And in twenty first position, the carboxylic acid is present. See here structure seven acetyl sulfonyl. And seventeen hydroxy three oxo pregnin four in twenty one carboxylic acid. So this is the structure and IUPAC name of this pyranolactone. And the properties are: it is a light cream color to uh, light tan, and it is crystalline in powder, and it is soluble in ethyl acetate, ethanol, and slightly soluble in methanol. Next pharmacokinetics. It is the oral route of administration, and it is metabolized in the liver, and it undergoes the urine elimination. So next adverse drug reactions are drowsiness, dizziness, lightheadedness, confusion, stomach upset, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, headache may occur, lightheadedness, feeling of the numbness, abdominal upset, and menstrual irregularities in the female. So uses it is used to treat the high blood pressure means it is used to reduce the blood pressure and it is used in the treatment of the heart failures and it is used to prevent the stroke heart attacks kidney problems and also it is used to treat the edema means it is used to remove the uh, excess fluid amount from the body in case of heart failure and liver diseases and it is also used to treat the low potassium levels in the body So these are the uses. That is, it is used to lower the blood pressure and used to prevent the strokes, heart attacks, and kidney problems. And it is used to treat the heart failures. And it is also used to remove the excess amount of the fluid present in the body. So next to dose, it is for the edema means thirty twenty five to two hundred mg orally per a day, and for the hypertension means fifty to hundred mg. Orally per a day, we have to take. In case for the congestive heart failure, means we have to take the 25 mg of the drug once a day. So next, sodium channel inhibitors. So what it will do means the drugs which comes under the sodium channel inhibitors, it will inhibit the reabsorption of the sodium and the potassium ions in into the body. So if we see here. The sodium channel is critical for the sodium entry into the cells down the electrochemical gradient created by the sodium pump into the basolateral membrane, which pumps the sodium into the inter interstitium. So, if in this, what will happen means the sodium ions will get reabsorbed into the body. So, in order to avoid the reabsorption of the sodium and the potassium, so The drugs means that the sodium channel inhibitor drugs we have to use in order to inhibit the reabsorption process, so that the the sodium and the potassium whatever the unwanted ions will be eliminated through the urine. So, and this first drug is amyloridin, amyloid, and this is the structure. The IUPAC name is three comma five diamino n carbamidylo six. Cyclopyrazine to carboxamide. See here, this is the pyridine structure. Sorry, pyrazine structure. So here in sixth position, chloro. In third and the fifth position, diamino. In the second position, carboxamide group is attached. See here, this is the pyrazine structure. In sixth position, chlorine. Second position, carboxamide. 
third and the fifth position diamino is present and the property sir it is a pale yellow to greenish yellow powder and it is soluble in water and ethanol so pharmacokinetics it is a oral route of administration and it is metabolized in the liver and it is excreted through urine so adverse drug reactions are headache dizziness nausea vomiting loss of appetite stomach pain diarrhea skin rashes emesis and hyperkalemic so uses it is used to treat the uh, high blood pressure means it is used to reduce the blood pressure and it is used in the treatment of the heart failure and also used to remove the excess amount of the fluid present in the body and it is used to prevent the heart strokes kidney problems etc so it is mainly used to remove the excess amount of the fluid present in the body and reduce the blood pressure and also it is used in the treatment of the heart failures heart attacks and kidney problems so dose in case for the acetis we should take the 5 mg orally once a day maximum we should take 5 to 10 mg once a day in case of the congestive heart failure we should take the 5 mg of the drug once a day and maximum 5 to 10 mg of the drug once a day in case of the edema we should take the maximum dose between 5 to 10 mg per a day and also for the hypertension also we should take 5 to 10 mg once a day so next triamethrin if you see here structure this is the iupacnip 6 phenyl pyridine 2 comma 4 comma 7 triamine see here this is the pyridine structure in the sixth position the phenyl group is there in second fourth and seventh the amine groups are there so three amine groups are there so it is named as 2 comma 4 comma 7 triamine in the properties are yellow crystalline powder waterless slightly soluble in water ethanol chloroform and it is soluble in formic acid ammonia in uh, uh, sodium hydroxide and sparingly soluble in ethoxy ethanol methanol very slightly soluble in acetic acid mineral acid benzene chloroform ether and alcohol next pharmacokinetics sir it is a oral route of administration undergoes the hepatic metabolism and it undergoes the urine elimination and adverse drug reactions are congestive heart failure low blood pressure light sensitivity means they can't expose themselves to the light headache jaundice several allergic problems nausea vomiting diarrhea gastrointestinal upset dry mouth kidney stones inflammation and acute kidney failure means kidney problems plate low platelet in the blood low liver enzyme abnormalities anemic problems so uses it is used to treat the high blood pressure means it is used to reduce the blood pressure and prevent the strokes heart attacks kidney problems and this drug is used in the combination form in order to increase its activity and it is also used to remove the excess amount of the salt and the water and it is also used to maintain the body fluids by removing the excess amount of the fluid present in the body in the condition such as heart failure liver diseases or kidney problems so dose in case of edema for adults 100 to 300 mg per day we have to take it may be the single dose or divided dose for the adults in case of the old child means old people have to take the 50 to 300 mg per day into in single dose or divided dose for hypertension we have to take the 100 to 300 mg per day for the adults in the geriatrics for we have to take 50 to 300 mg of a drug the next osmotic diuretics so this drug what will do means it will mainly act upon the bowman's capsule so it is used to uh, inhibit the reabsorption of the sodium ions in the body 
So mechanism of action C here, it will prevent the water reabsorption and the sodium from the body. So its main function is to inhibit the reabsorption of the water and excess amount of the sodium in the body. See here the osmotic diuretics or the substances to which the tubule epithelial membrane has limited permeability when administered osmotic diuretics increase the osmolality of the plasma and tubular fluid and it will mainly prevent the water reabsorption and the extract water from the intracellular compartments and expands the cellular fluid volume and increase the renal blood flow and it will mainly act upon the loop of henley and proximal convoluted tubule in this first drug is mannitol and this is the structure of the mannitol and iupac name is hexane 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 hexol see here how many carbon atoms are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 carbon atoms for 6 carbon atoms 6 hydroxyl groups are there see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 hydroxyl group are there so it is named as hexane 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexane 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexol its properties are it is a white crystalline powder and it is odorless sweet taste and it is soluble in pyridine al aniline alkaline water and it is insoluble in ether so pharmacokinetics are it is a oral intravenous route of administration but the oral route of administration is poor when we compare with the intravenous route of administration so the intravenous route of administration is more preferable compared with the oral route and it is not metabolized in the liver and it is the drug is rapidly eliminated through urine adverse drug reactions are headache nausea vomiting dry mouth dizziness feeling of the thirsty blurred vision diarrhea dehydration runny nose chills chest pain blood pressure irregular heart rate and swelling electrolyte imbalance at the site of injection and also if you take through the intravenous route of administration at what site we have taken at that site it leads to the tissue death so uses it is used to treat the edema formation due to kidney failure and heart failure and it is used in the treatment of the high blood pressure and liver diseases dose should be taken from 50 to 200 mg in a 24 hours period so these all are, are the drugs which comes under the diuretics see See that in last classes we have discussed the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, thiazides, and today we are discussed about the loop thiaz, loop diuretics, osmotic diuretics, and potassium sparing diuretics. So, this are the classification, this drugs which comes under the diuretics. So, this all are the references books for the diuretics topics. So, these are the references books. So, this is the topic of the diuretics.